Hi guys, Victorian Time Machine here with a kind of a long um, video, so I wanted to give you a sort of a table of contents of the things you're going to see in the video. So from Dollar Tree, Target, Tuesday morning, and Home Depot. From Dollar Tree, you're going to see chimes, a few food items, the larger size of Crest toothpaste, some cut-to-fit insole cushions, as well as cushions for heels, double-sided tape pins, stickers as always, including smiley stickers, fruit stickers, and my favorite, little dog paw stickers, fashion paper clips, and what I thought of them, a cute pencil pouch, and a polka dot pattern that's clear, and it's three hole punched with little metal reinforced holes, polyphile and pocket folders, washi and key print, zebra and my favorite dog paws, uh, correction tape, collapsible storage container, gift sacks, microfiber dust cloths and towels, some storage containers and a really pretty turquoise color with a chevron design, a cute little uh, scarf that's very summery with flamingos etc on it, some drawer organizers, I'm going to discuss returns, there's a mini desk light, some great dog toys, um, LED flashlights, some patriotic items, some duct tape, liquid eyeliner in plum, dish drying mats, magnetic tins, a kneeling pad, a target, you'll see stickers, some cute 3M post-it notes in a dog paw shape and mushroom shape, turquoise bakery twine from the dollar spot along with ombre washi, finding ne Nemo magnetic list pad, and then these patriotic star-shaped lights. Tuesday morning I got some small pink tins for 99 cents. At Home Depot I got some Scotch Expressions tape, a really great deal using a dollar off coupon when it was already marked down to like 59 cents. Also, you'll see artificial flowers, garden steak, pinwheel, and mini flags. Be sure and hang tight till you see the credits because I had to add some stuff on to the very end that I had forgotten. Thank you so much for watching and check the description because I'm going to put a couple of links in there. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, Victorian Time Machine here with a really big. Um, Dollar Tree haul, but also I believe Tuesday morning and Target and Home Depot is just a few little odds and ends thrown in. The first thing I wanted to show you is this really adorable little wind chime from Dollar Tree, starting with the Dollar Tree items. He is so cute. I love turtles. So springy. I could not turn that little guy down couple of boring things to get out of the way. They had tuna. I picked some up. I was hungry after all my shopping, so I got some Pringles. And uh, another boring item, although I guess it's semi-exciting that it was much larger than the usual size. So that was good. Actually, I already got into, ended up going back and buying another one of these. I have the other package somewhere. Um, it, basically, you cut these to fit your shoe size, and they seem to help, although I did layer, um, I think I have three in one shoe and two in the other, and I did that because it felt like one of my legs might be longer than the other. Anyway, I, I'm not sure. I think these help, but they are, for a buck, it's worth a try. Um, some stationary items. These bins are a repurchase. I love the color. I had previously gotten some of these stickers in multicolors. Got some more of these cute little fruit stickers. <laughs> these are so cute! These are going to be perfect in my planner for reminders uh, about things for my dogs. Cute little paper clips. most excited about is this pencil pouch. It's three ring punched and this paper is just in there so that you can see the design. See through. I like see through things because then I don't have to remember what's inside. You've all seen this before. I had passed on these in the past, <laughs> passed in the past, because I noticed these cracked on a lot of them. Um, at least it was in this one particular store, but in the store where I bought these, none of them were cracked, so I don't know if how the quality is going to be on these, but I thought it was worth a gamble. 
you know, I like little things. So I got some more of these little gel pens. These are not the glittery kind, but they are colored ink. Maybe we should try them out. That's a blooper. Okay, we are going to try the orange. Or is this pink? Maybe this is pink. Yeah, it looks good. Got some washi. I have trouble finding washi at my Dollar Tree, so I was happy to find these. These actually came from two different Dollar Trees. I'm always having to um, change things in my planner, so I thought I would give this a try. Because scratching things out looks so messy. I thought I would try this for organizing my pattern lots um, that I sell on eBay. It's a nice bright orange color. It may be supposed to be red, um, but it looks more orange to me. There was, there was another orange that just looked kind of puny, so I decided to go with that color. And if you all know about, they have such pretty gift sacks. And I'm always telling my husband it's a zoo at our house. And uh, so I may try to make a planner cover out of this. There's another really pretty bag. Don't have a gift to go in it, but it just looked like something my aunt would like. It also would make a lovely planner cover. And it's glittery. Cheap Crafty Girl is the one that made me want this bag. I saw her make a planner cover out of it, so when you're finished with this video, you'll have to um, check out her video. She makes really neat planner covers out of gift sacks. You can never have too many... Microfiber cleaning. These say washcloths, but I'm going to use them for cleaning. This is a repurchase. Also, use it, using it for dusting and cleaning. These are a repurchase. I wanted more. I filled up the other ones. These are like the... I got these before I found the little ones. So, I'm just going to organize things around here and see what I'm left with. I got another one here. And I also got... Um, a scarf. It has, I almost called them penguins. It has flamingos and ice cream cones and pineapples and hats, wide brimmed hats, beach balls, seashells. So cute. You have to look the Dollar Tree scarves over and make sure they're not snagged though. But I got these things for organizing my desk. And uh, you get four for a dollar, which I thought was a really good deal. Three, three of this larger size. And four of the size that's good for, like, pencils. So I'll just have to see. Before I had found those, I had gotten these for my desk drawers. So I'll just have to see. And as far as returning things to Dollar Tree and not being able to get food, that, that was explained to me. You can get food. You just have to buy something else in addition because if you purchase an item that has tax on it say that you pay a dollar eight for these and you want to return them for a box of vegetable crackers and the vegetable crackers don't have tax so that's only one dollar they're not allowed to give any cash back so you would have to buy something else and then pay like 92 cents but as you can see it's not hard for me to find things to buy so um if i have to return things I, there are lots of some of the food items, oh, that reminds me, I forgot to show you guys the banana muffin mix. Um, they have Fleischmann's banana muffin mix, and um, I'll go get that and show it to you. But, um, you know, tuna and Pringles, things like that, name brands. I, sometimes I'm a little nervous buying other things. Um, but, anyway, somebody else had hauled in one of their videos and was really bragging on it, and I thought... It would be perfect to somehow maybe plasti tack it to the front of my computer because when I'm having to plug and unplug like microphones and headsets and different things like that, it's really dark down there and I always have to find a flashlight. So I thought maybe I could attach this to the, to the front of my computer and that would be so very helpful. I've got a couple more of these because they were a big hit with my German Shepherds that I'm fostering. So I wanted to um, get some more of those. Here's another one. They're fun to throw, too, because they have a ball on the end. This is the one that I got before I found... I had to go to, like, three Dollar Trees to find those toys. And, um, this is one that I had gotten because I thought they were all out. Now, me and flashlights and me and orange. And so when I saw this with the three LEDs in orange, I had to get it. So I will put this in a drawer somewhere. It's always good to have a flashlight close by. 
got another chime. It's patriotic. I found the elusive multi-roll multi of washi. Um, for those of you who are saying, oh my gosh, that's a lot of washi for a dollar. Remember, it is skinny. And if you look from the side, I think you get like a quarter as much as the regular rolls. But the variety is great, and it's good to have a smaller size, I think. These were the two colors available that I found. I also really like this color of duct tape. For the female MacGyver in real life. I got some more of this um, Colormates liquid eyeliner. This one is actually in plum, so I was surprised to see that color. I love the little onboard mirror. I've gotten these little dish drying mats in orange, and I thought pink was so cute and summery. And it's the perfect size for me to dry my juicer components. I know I've, I've kind of given these things a hard time in the past, but since I've discovered that you can use the Hobby Lobby Super Magnets to hold these onto metal, um, they are very handy. So I got some more of those. I have been looking everywhere for the big version. Everywhere! Um... The first time I saw them, they were in a blister pack like this, hanging on a peg. But apparently, part of the reason I couldn't find them is because they were just set out individually in boxes down on the bottom shelf. So, tip for people who are looking for these larger canisters, look on... And that's plastic, but I guess you knew that. Look on the bottom shelf and stationary, not hanging up. I got some really cute heels that I can't wear, and I thought these might help me to wear them. So I can still return the heels if these don't work, but they're not, actually they're not even really heels, they're what do you call them wedges or Yama, Yama, Yama man, of I love these tubs and I got one more color pink because um, when I'm sorting things it makes it easy if they're different colors. My husband's even on it, he picked this kneeling pad up. Which is good for more than just gardening. Target. I've seen these stickers before and I never picked them up. But I decided to splurge and get them. They were a dollar in Bullseye's Playground. These were not in Bullseye's Playground. They were just in the stationery department. They were like two eighty or something like that. But you get an awful lot of post-its. And I'm hoping since they're 3M that they'll work better than the ones in the dollar slot. Because... Quite honestly, the ones in the dollar spot don't stick very good. And this adorable mushroom shape. Some twine. And this pretty turquoise color. For a dollar. I picked up some sort of ombre washi. It killed me to pay three dollars, but I was like, well, you know, you pay one dollar for one, so just pay three dollars for three. They had other um, designs that were, they had anchors and cute little summery things on them. But I got them. I got the ombre. And I love um, Finding Nemo. I thought this was so cute. This is a magnetic list pad that was, it's 60 sheets, was $1 in Bullseye's Playground. It looks like it's got little bubbles. It says, there's always a way. Sometimes I need encouragement, so I thought that was good. And I don't know if these lights were originally in Bullseye's Playground or not, um, because it was only one set there, and they don't have the price on them that I see anywhere. Um, oh, <laughs> whoops, indoor use only. I got them for the front porch. These may have to go back. I thought they were really fun and festive. They were $3. But it does say for indoor use only, so that's kind of a bummer. Tuesday morning! I only got one thing. This little package of two containers, or canisters, with 99 cents. Storing little things. Containerize! 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 Home Depot! These packages of glitter tape were... <laughs> that one's poked through. We're in the um, back where they keep boxes and box tape. They were listed 59 cents, and I had a, a coupon for a dollar off you can find online. So, um, actually I didn't have the coupon with me, 
So what they did was they just marked these half of, half off of 59 cents for me. So I got these both for 59 cents. Um, but if you had brought physically brought the coupon in, you would, I guess, get these for free. I don't know if they were left over from Christmas or what. They also had gold, um, which I got a gold, and I already got into it, and I don't know where it is. So, okay, so here's the muffin mix I was telling you all about. Fleischmann Simply Homemade Muffin and Bread Mix, especially for Greek yogurt. My mom says that's probably just a marketing tactic. I'm going to try and make them without Greek yogurt and see if they flop. I have made them twice with Greek yogurt. One time I added protein powder as well. And both times I've added chia seeds. And uh, walnuts, too, are really good in this. Here's the other flavor. I have not yet made this one. I'm wondering what it would taste like if you made it with lime, key lime yogurt. If that'd be really good or really gross. Also at Dollar Tree, I picked up a little six ounce, I think it was, a jar of paste bikani sauce. And, uh, goodness gracious, I, I believe that's everything. Thanks for watching. some stuff at Dollar Tree and Target to put by my father-in-law's um, grave on Memorial Day. I'm not sure if these came like this or if someone switched the heads out, but I thought it was kind of cute and cool. Um, so I got a batch of those. He was in the military. He was actually in the Korean War. Um, they had flags, but the flags, the posts were too flimsy. So I got this. It's um, garden steak, so it's got a nice, um, hard, pokey into the ground thing. <laughs> and then at Target, I picked up a little three count of these little small flags in the dollar spot. They were one dollar. And I also picked up this cute little pinwheel that's got a, a kind of semi-pointed end, and it's pretty rigid, so I think it'll stick into the ground okay. And it was also a dollar. I thought that was kind of neat. Alright, now for real this time. That's really off. <laughs>